awesome artist. For this project, the winter landscape collage, you need watercolor or construction paper. If you don't have that, any paper will do and you get to choose the size. I also used newsprint and business envelopes. The inside sometimes has patterns on it. It's kind of cool. Um, I also, you need watercolors, water, a messy mat underneath, black crayon or Sharpie if you have it, pencil and white paint and a paintbrush. A lot of stuff. And so with my paper, I drew two hills in the middle. That's my middle ground. We talked about that a few weeks ago. Then I, above the hills, because I'm only painting the sky, I watered it down, just water, and then I put the watercolors on. And what happens when you do that, you, you get this great mixing of the watercolors. Um, it helps it happen when you've already put water there. And your watercolors don't go where you don't want it if there's no water. It's kind of a cool little technique you can use. So I made a sunset, finishing it up here. You can see the colors bleeding at the top. And then you can add drops of color. You can add more color wherever you want it. While I was letting my sunset dry, I took another piece of paper and I covered it with just water. You don't want it to puddle. And then I used my green hues of watercolor and I used newsprint. Um, these are going to be the trees. You're going to cut out your trees from these papers. Um, on the newsprint, I did not put water on first because it doesn't need it. It just, you know, it gives it a different look. Some you might want to do the water first and let them bleed, and some you might not want to. And then I took these papers and I folded them in half with a Sharpie. You could use a crayon. I drew half of a triangle, and then I cut them out. I open them up and voila, you have a tree. I didn't do this, but you could decorate, well, you could decorate the trees. Um, I made trees of many, many different sizes because we're going to do the foreground, middle ground, and background. So you need big trees for the front in the foreground. You need middle-sized trees for the middle ground, and you need tiny trees for way back on the hills in the background. Once you have your trees cut out, you need to arrange them on your paper. Do not glue them down until you've kind of moved them around. You wanna leave some snow open at the bottom because we are going to put footprints on it. So arrange your pieces. I have a variety of different kinds of looks and colors and make sure they're where you want them to be. Then glue them down, of course. Now in the next step, we're going to put snow on but I did it in the wrong order. You should put the footprints first. I took the end of a brush, the hard end, not the brush end, and I dipped it in white paint and I made dots. I dipped it once and probably got three or four dots and they look like snow falling down. Then I drew in the feet, but you should do that before the paint. It'll be a lot easier. And all you do is just color in little ovals, bigger and darker, closer to you, smaller and farther apart, the farther away it is. After that, 
I decided that I wanted a moon because I forgot to leave a white spot at the top, which you could do. And so then I just cut out white and I'm, I glued it down. And I did this backwards too. I did it, I like to do things backwards, I guess. I then drew on my pencil line, I drew over that with a Sharpie. You could use a black crayon if you'd like. I would do this before you put the trees down though. Sorry about that. And you end up with a really cute winter forest scene. And you can make any kind of trees, you know, forest trees that you like. 